What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Mo. Today we're gonna to be doing a cabin air filter change on a Chevy Equinox. This is a 2020 here, but it does work on several different years. So the only thing you're gonna to need to do this is a seven 30 second socket, a seven 30 second socket. So once you have that, we can go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so we're in the vehicle now, and the first thing we need to do is open the glove box. And now we need to push in on either side of the glove box. So we're gonna push in and that's gonna allow the glove box to come down. There's a couple little stops back here that pushing in is gonna allow it to clear. So we push in, it's gonna allow these stops to clear and it comes down like that. And now we need to do un undo this latch right here. How you're gonna do that is put your finger around, fingers around it like that and then we're gonna pull out to the right. So just pull and it'll pop off there like that. And now that's gonna allow the glove box to come down and it'll kind of just come off. It just rests right here and right here. But once we have that off and we look up in there, now we can actually see this is the cabin filter door right here. And there's two screws we gotta remove. One here, one right here, and one right here. And that's where that seven 30 second socket will come into play. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those two screws and I'll see you in the next shot. So I'm just finishing up taking out the second screw get that one out of there. I already removed this one. So once you get those two screws out of there, we can flip this little door up like that. And now we can see the actual filter right here. And there's a little notch down here that'll allow you to get your finger under it and slide it out like that. I'm not going to actually replace this one because it doesn't need to. But when you do put your new one in, just make sure you pay attention to that airflow arrow. You want that airflow arrow pointing down. So you'll put your new one in, snap that door back down, put your two screws in, and then you'll just reverse everything we did for the glove box. You'll set it on here, and then you'll flip it up, put this latch back on, and then push it, push it in so those stops clear, and then just push it up and close it. So pretty simple. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.